you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I another Sosu Kino reacts. I'm Sir Sosu Kino, and we're here to react to another Assassination Classroom. This time, it's episode 10. Alright, in the last video, when we, uh, came, when we came, when we ended it, um, I believe my viewers pointed out that I missed episode 8. I will go back and watch that. It has been, hold on over, it's been, um, a couple weeks since my last video, and I apologize for that. Um, just been busy with work and whatnot. It's not easy posting videos while running a job as well. Especially when I work the night shift. I usually record my videos around 2 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, that's when I get off. So, here we are. All right. Without any further ado, we're going to jump right into this video. Um, always remember to like, share, subscribe, and when you see that note, and hit that notification bell. So, when I drop a video, you hear about it first. Just remember that each episode I do, I'm trying to figure out uh, a new way to kill Kuro Sensei, at least in this season. Um, the next show that I watch, depending on what it is, I was planning on doing a joint session with my friend uh, Steven. I was going to have him uh, come in as the uh, to watch some One Piece, but we'll go through that later. Um, our first episode rec uh, recording didn't go well, so we'll uh, figure that out as it goes. Um, but yeah, let's jump into episode 10. All right, let's head and get it. This guarantee a good first impression. Now, I'm sure we all know someone who's absolute crap with small talk. <laughs> Maybe we are that person. The trick is to put yourself in the shoes of your target. Kimura, throw me an icebreaker quick. Uh, hey there? No, no! You're shifting the burden <laughs> of conversation. If you want a meaningful response, the other person has to feel you're pulling your own weight. Try coming at them guns blazing with an interesting observation. Okay. Conversation is a challenge for the best of us, and that's okay. Don't think in terms of finding the right words. Let them uh, fight you. Sorry, I had to Just <laughs> let the conversation flow. Oh my god. Finesse it like a full tongued kiss. Wow. Alright, skip to the intro like I normally do. Just to avoid copyrights. I'll push his yep. buttons. Sorry. Back here we go. Sorry about that. Come on. Puss with brats. And while we're on the subject of tentacled pervs, the son of a bitch is staring at my tent. Sipping tea doesn't make it classy. <laughs> Have I mentioned how much I admire your God? I look ugly without methods. any hair. Shut your face! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't imagine why that might be. I have better things to do than twiddle my thumbs in this dump. If I could just bag the squirrely bastard. <gasps> what? A snare <laughs> trap? Who the hell? You catch me off guard here enough. Watching you babysit a bunch of kids. It's like TV comedy show. So, why are you here? What's going on here? This is your only warning, pal. Let her go. Don't worry about it. She knows how to handle her sister. Right. So, uh, have we met each other somewhere, or is it just me? We haven't met in person, <laughs> but you know my reputation. This got I do fast. freelance work for government. As a matter of fact, I'm the guy who arranged to bring Irina Yelovich into the mix. I'm human resources man. Lovro the Assassin, one of the most dangerous men who's ever lived, now retired. Trains assassins and books gigs for them all over the world. Makes a killing, no pun intended. At the crucial moment, he came through for us. Yelovich is his protege, but why is he here now? Does Goro Sensei fellow happen to be near? I think he's in Shanghai picking up some almond jelly. Left about a half hour ago. Should be back any minute. <laughs> so rumors of his speed haven't been exaggerated. Yeah. You run along home, Irina. I'll take it from here. It's clear you're out of your depth. <gasps> Don't get me wrong. On undercover jobs, you're the best. Once your cover's been blown, however, well, let's face it. You're no Charlotte Corday. You have to give me a chance, sir. I can do this. I know I can. <laughs> He's fast. What have I always taught you? Everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses. A 
good assassin knows when to go home. Congratulations! Oh, You're exactly half wrong and half right. Hey, hey. Cool it, game show. Another ridiculous nickname? Are you determined never to call me Koro Sensei? It's you. I agree. As an assassin, our beloved Irina is nothing special. Frankly, she's crap. No one was asking you! Having said that, she <laughs> belongs here. She is, in fact, a perfect fit for this class. <sighs> to prove my point, I propose a kill-off. Let us see which of you passes muster. Who is the better assassin? The rules are simple. Whomever kills our friend Mr. Karasama first is the winner! Excuse me. Why the hell am I the target here all of a sudden? It has to be silly. I'm unkillable. Uh, here, you have all day tomorrow. Oh, I see. So it's to be a pretend assassination. Why not? There are worse ways to pass time. Suit yourself. <laughs> What's your idea of sticking up for me? Huh? That's, Shut that, up! That's not good, I know what this is. You're hedging your bets on me because you think I'm easier to manage than some new schmuck, right? Well, if you don't think I've got what it takes to kill Karasuma and you, somebody's in for a rude awakening. <sighs> <laughs> this is not so, going to go well at all. Expect a few disruptions today, and hopefully it won't interfere with your studies too much. Just carry on as normal, all right? Eh, poor guy. He just can't catch a break. Yoo-hoo! Huh? Excellent work today! I'll bet you worked up quite a thirst. Oh, have an ice cold beverage! <sighs> Here, go ahead and knock it back. It tastes like a rainbow. She drugged it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Probably some sort of muscle relaxer. Immobilize and stab, oldest trick in the book. Uh -huh. <sighs> What do you take me for? No man in his right mind would let you close enough to give him a drink. Well, why don't I just put it here so you can take it at your leisure? Oh! oh, oh. Pick me up, Karasuma! Carry me, piggyback, no. please! Have I'm some self-respect. This is sad. You okay, Professor? <laughs> <laughs> boy wouldn't have fooled that you. My sad. options are limited, okay? I can't do someone who knows my M.O. Chalk it down to occupational hazard. It's like a paid escort trying to put the moves on her old man. He knows her too well for her charms to land their mark. That's sick. Damn it. <laughs> Racing against the clock here. When Lovro's got a target sights, it's only a matter of time. He strikes like a thief in the night. What do you think? Exhilarating being the killee, isn't it? Oh, it's a barrel of laughs. Wait a second. Exactly what happens if I manage to dodge them both? Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. I suppose, in all fairness, you'd be the winner. What do I win? How about I agree to stand stock still in front of you for an entire second? You may shoot and or stab me at will. Don't tell the others, though. We don't want to kick off a feeding frenzy. The pot might be a little too rich to keep everyone honest. Whatever you say. <laughs> Skills. She's certainly proven herself a capable wielder of death before. 
Once upon a time, yes. Level with me, okay? Mm. Do you honestly believe I can take down someone like Karasuma? Of course. I can't speak to what you may or may not have learned at the feet of your guru. But based on what I've seen you accomplish since you've been here, I'd be a dolt to think otherwise. Case in point. Sabajara, you ordered yesterday! If that's not initiative, I don't know what is! Oh, <laughs> if you want others to believe in you, you've got to believe what in you. The heck? Show them what you got. Karasuma, this Lovro fellow, the children. <laughs> Yo, have a look at this, man. It's Mr. K. Huh? Oh, yeah, he's been eating his lunch out there a lot lately for some reason. While he's smacking on his sandwich, the spider moves in for the kill. Looks like Professor Bitch is gonna go for it. Mind if we talk for a sec, you and me? What now? I'm aware this is a pretend assassination, but I'm done screwing around. Huh, she has a knife, I see. Surely she knows he can smell the ruse from a mile away. The woman's a fool. Aw, oh, come on. Don't be such a stick in the mud. I'm a girl willing to do whatever it takes to stay here. You know that about me. No more screwing around. Unless that's what you'd prefer in exchange. One good turn deserves another, yeah? You just call the game, love. It's as simple as that, huh? If I take her knife, this nonsense will be over. All right, fine. Jab me. Just be quick about it, though. <sighs> You're a good sport. Mr. Lovro. You've been Miss Irina's teacher for some time, have you not? You've noted her communication skills, her versatility with words. To watch her pass that on to her students is to watch a master at work. She's fluent in ten languages because she's fluent in the ways of people. When she finds the right words, there's no one she can't reach. And nowhere, I suspect, is she in more command of her particular gifts than here. What do you suppose she's been up to? <laughs> okay. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Man, this is hot. Yeah, who's the bitch now? She's building the skills to kill me in much the same way she'd acquire a new language. Methodically, feeling out the terrain, drilling vocabulary, so to speak. One look inside her bag and you'll see there's no room for doubt. This is definitely a woman with a plan. Say good night. Great. If this comes down to strength, I'm boned. What am I supposed to... Ooh. Karasuma? Let me kill you. Pretty, please. Pretty sure it's bad form for a killer to beg permission. This is ridiculous. <sighs> oh, fine. Better to get it over with than spend all day listening to you whine. You go, girl! Gee, calling it, Professor Bitch was the first one to hit him. It's not like I lost anything. Koro Sensei was full of it. He'd never just stand there and let me take pot shots at him. <sighs> you have to respect a pupil willing to challenge the master, especially when the deck is stacked against her. Imagine what the children get out of seeing her rise to the occasion. Yes, that feisty can-do spirit is an example for us all. When push comes to shove, if there's any chance of assassinating me, her being here is essential to it. Sir, I... You're the worst student I've ever had. But as a teacher, I don't hold a candle to you. If you can kill him, do it. <gasps> Absolutely! Yeah! Yes, That's what I'm all about! Arrogant, <laughs> foul-mouthed. But when you see her in her element, she's a pretty damn good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't look like a teacher, that looked like a murderer. Hey! The hell's with the suit of armor? Nothing in our little bed prohibited basic self-defense! <laughs> You're in a good mood today, sir. After school plans? As a matter of fact, yes. I'm flying to Hawaii for a blockbuster premiere. This particular movie I've been chopping at the no Princess for even ages. A bit confused about that. Seriously? Wow, no fair. <laughs> What's Mach 20 good for if I can't be first in line for an international hit? Sonic Ninja? It's a big comic book movie. They've been hyping it since last year. Don't worry, I'll give you all the gory details tomorrow. Okie 
okie then. I'd best be on my way. Koro Sensei! Wait up! We want to come with you, please. Oh ho, fans of the franchise? Oh yeah. We've been waiting for the sequel for like ever. I'm a little surprised you're into comic books, Karma. It's actually not my thing. I really dig the director, though. It's his first genre film. I'd like to come too, if you don't mind. I hope I'm not bothering you. Um, no offense, Ritsu, <laughs> but what are you doing in my phone? I took the liberty of uploading myself into everyone's mobile devices. This way, communication between students is streamlined and I'm fun-sized. This version of me is called Mobile Ritsu. Someone else that can do almost anything. <laughs> if it's not too much trouble, I'd love to know what it's like soaring through the air at Mach 20. I can even take aerial photos for Koro-sensei's dossier. Well then, children, let's go to the movies! Brace yourselves for a flight through the stratosphere at supersonic speed! Okay. I know we asked him on a whim, but I'm kind of having second thoughts. What'd we just sign on for? Yeah, well, if we survive, maybe next time we'll think of safety first. Oh, now, don't be afraid. I'll accelerate gently so as to not shock your system. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> wow, check it out. The Pacific Ocean. Excellent powers of observation, Nagisa. Okay. The secret you see is my aerodynamic skin. Normally, my head is soft and squishy. When exposed to high pressure, however, it hardens like a shell. That's how I can withstand the effects of Mach 20 speed. Oh, okay. Did you know that something very much like my skin plays a role in your day-to-day -day life? To explain, let's explore the concept of... Is he giving us a lecture mid-flight? <laughs> oh. be your best chance to assassinate him, Karma. He's distracted juggling two things at once. Except I don't want to die. We're over open water at the speed of sound. Physics doesn't support that plan. <laughs> Since they have right where he wants us, we've got no choice but to listen and learn. Sure enough. are manufactured, utilizing the fascinating science behind the latency. I've made you that much smarter and in the time it takes to catch Sonic Ninja. We're really here. We're in Hawaii. And do we know what the yeah. latency is? That would be nice. That would be a good Man, way to travel. It it's an island thing. I They're approve. all about cranking the AC. Let's bundle you up so no one catches pneumonia. Here. Hey, don't they cut out a bunch of stuff for distribution overseas? We getting the real deal here? Where's your sense of adventure? It shouldn't be all that different than what we see back home once it comes out over there. And if it is, so much the better. It'll be like seeing the same artwork from different angles. Here, my tentacles can be used as earphones. I'll offer a running commentary as we watch, just in case any of the nuances of this version go over your head. Now sit back and enjoy the show! Wow. This is so... Awesome! <laughs> Evil doesn't take a vacation. A brooding hero trying to save the world. Kids my age eat this stuff up. But what about Koro Sensei? Is he really into the whole superhero thing? <laughs> this would be even better in 3D. Oh my god! Never mind. What, that like what a cliffhanger! They really know what they're doing. I'll go nuts waiting for the next installment. I don't know. I feel like the filmmaker copped out making the bad guy the brother. Oh, well. If you want to know how the series ends, I can calculate it. I'll just make an algorithm of every movie ever made. Give me a couple minutes. No, I'm good, thanks. Between the two of you, wow. Huh? Long lost siblings! Can you imagine? Merciful heavens, how cruel fate can be! <laughs> Well, what do you know? Guess it really got to him. Damn, my bad. He's been blubbering like that all the way from Hawaii. Thank you for taking us with you, sir. Good night. Yes, yes, good night, children. Be careful on the way home. Oh, and I'd like you to write a detailed synopsis of the film in your own words for class tomorrow. Whoa, you're giving us homework? Small price to pay for a free trip to Hawaii. 
Fair. That's fair. What's up? Something on your mind? It's just been an interesting day is all. We got flown to Hawaii at Mach 20 and given a lecture on natural science over the Pacific Ocean. Uh, we lead a weird life. Personally, my favorite part of the whole experience was watching Koro-sensei protect you. I've never seen anything like it. Did you realize he was using his tentacles to fend off dust particles and debris? When you think about it, we saw the world through Koro-sensei's eyes today. Hmm. The more I get to know the guy, the more I feel like his everyday life is something we can't even comprehend. Stiff upper lip, old boy. Okay. No more tears. Okay. I'm needed at Mimura's for a one-on-one -on -one math tutorial. Well, did your eyes follow his course? Good. Then you can kill him. You mean him? Yes, your brother. Though as of tomorrow, He'll also be your teacher. Now, whoa, 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 it's time whoa, to whoa, make whoa, whoa, what? What's been done to our moon? What, brother? I knew that look was something. No freaking way. That's Korosensei's brother? Oh no. So wait, Korosensei is human? He would have to be, holy shit. So that kid's gonna be joining the class and that's Korosensei's like younger brother or something? That Okay. Alright, um, so there's that, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not going to have time to process this right now because it's 2 a.m. and I'm tired as hell. So, um, <laughs> I'll process this in the next video. Holy shit, he's got a brother. I always wondered what his... It is, so this is where it's going to start getting into Korosensei's life and his history and why he wants to destroy the world. Okay, so that's what I've been waiting for, the plot. All right. Well, trying to get myself out of this whole thinking process because, uh, holy shit, it's taking a little bit to process this. Um, I am looking for a new series. I think I'm approaching the finale of this series, and if I am, I will be starting a new series. i got to figure out what I want to watch, though. So take me some time. Uh, send in your recommendations if you want. Uh, just leave a comment down below or leave something on my channel, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, so uh, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you back here again next time. Peace.